Right, let's start with some movements through your shoulders. Might put a bit more light on. Yeah, it's quite dark. Is that better? Okay. Yeah, so we'll just get some movement into our shoulders. Let's uh, do a good warm up today so we warm up in this cold weather. Good. And then little, little rolls with your shoulders. And just moving your spine from side to side. Good. And we'll do some nice big stretches all the way up. And then folding forward, having your legs nice and wide apart. Inhale, come all the way up. You can use your hands, sliding them down your legs to support your back a little bit because you're not quite warmed up yet. Let's do a few more of these. And then, so we'll do two more and then we'll stay down there and stretch out. Good. And now staying over in your forward fold. And you can bring your hands to cross position and moving your elbows in a figure of eight as we stretch down the back of our legs and a little bit of warmth and stretching into our lower back. It's nice deep breathing. And then take your hands down to the right side and turn your right toe out. Just stretch down the back of the right leg a little bit. And then take your hands over to the left side and turn your left toe out. Just stretching down the back of the left leg. And then bring your hands to the middle, bend your knees a little bit, and we'll just go from side to side. So chest up a little bit. So we're feeling a nice stretch through the inner thigh. Just going from side to side. Let's go one more on each side. And then coming back up to standing, give your legs a little shake. And then we'll stretch through our quads. So if you want to, you can lean up against something to give you a bit of balance. So bring in your heel to your buttocks and bring your knees together. So you feel that nice stretch down the front of your quads. And then swap to the other side. So you're having your heel to buttocks, knees together. Good. And then we're going to go from side to side. We'll lift our arms up and we'll go stretching from side to side. So inhale as you come up, exhale as you go to the side. Do a few of these on each side just to warm up through the side of our body. Good. And then we might start. So we, um, we're going to start with a knees up. And um, the other thing I wanted to mention today, I've got a roller here. We might do some rolling at the end. So maybe part way through, if you have your roller available, we'll do that at the end. Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, we're starting it. Starting session. Okay, so we start with knees up. So this one's good because it gives you some good movement through your lower back and your buttocks and your legs. Gets you warmed up a little bit. So we're doing 45 seconds of work and a 20 second rest in between each set. Good work, that's it, we've got five seconds to go. 
Let's finish it off. Nice. Okay, give your legs a little shake and grab your weight and we're going to do squat press next. Okay. We've got a little bit of rest here. Five more seconds. So bring the weight up to your chest. You're going to squat down and then reach up. Have your legs a little bit wider than hip width apart and your toes pointing out. And when you squat down, bring the weight to your chest. If you have any blood pressure issues or any shoulder issues, just keep the weight at your chest. Don't do the press part. So breathing in as you come down and breathing out as you go up. Keeping it nice and strong. Three, two, and one. So if you've got another weight there, pick that one up and we'll do bicep curls next. So bring them round to the front. We've got 10 more seconds rest. Four, three, two, one. Let's go. So breathing out as you come up. Keeping it nice and strong, chest up nice and tall, core on to support your lower back. Twenty seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. You can stretch that out a little bit. If you've got something nearby, you can just stretch out through your biceps there. And then next one we're going to do is a single arm press. So just hopefully you've got one weight, maybe a, a two or three kilo. So nice soft knees. And we're going to press it to the ceiling and then just bring it down so your elbow's in line with your shoulder. That's it, perfect guys. So the purpose of this one is we're often stronger on one side than the other and this one helps us to even out our strength through both arms and both shoulders. So it's quite a difficult exercise because it's single arm so you've got to control it and stabilize it and also because it's above your head, so we don't like to go too heavy with this one. Five seconds to go, and then swap it over. So give your arms a nice shape. So I've got a four kilo, it's probably a little heavy. Probably a, a two or a three would, be, would have been better. Okay, we've got 10 more seconds to go. Let's give that a nice shake through. It's important to keep your core on for this because this helps to keep your body stable. Then we go to the other side. So pressing up and bring your elbow only down as, so it's in line with your shoulder. Good work. Breathing in as you bring it down and breathing out as you press it up. Good. If you take your elbow back a little bit, you'll feel a little squeeze in your scapula, that little area in between your shoulder blades. That's it, nice work. Just be careful you don't drop it down too low as it gets tired. We've got 10 seconds to go. Good work, okay, bring that one down. We're gonna go down to the mat now. So we're gonna do a plank. So you can do that on your knees if you like, or on your toes, whatever works for you that you can hold on for 45 seconds. If you find that your lower back starts to strain, if you're on your toes, it's okay to drop to your, to your knees. Okay. So this one is working deep abdominal. So you're up on your forearms. Nice straight line from your shoulders down to your knees or your toes. 
Molly's just come to check, make sure you're all doing it correctly. Aren't you, Mo? Good work. We've got 20 seconds to go. Keep it nice and strong, nice deep breathing. Three, two, and one. And drop that one down. You can take your body back into child's pose with your um, knees wide and your feet together, just giving your lower back a little stretch. And then we're going to go to side plank. So going on to your side with a nice straight line, elbow underneath your armpit, bottom leg bent and top leg straight. And you're going to lift up, lift your hip off the ground and take your arm up in the air and bring it back a little bit to open up through your chest. So this one is working your obliques, which is the muscles that run down the sides of your abdomen. And generally the one that we're working the most is the one closest to the floor. Keep it going for another 10 seconds. Deep breathing. Three, two, and one, good work. And allow your body to come back down to the mat and swap sides. So bottom knee is bent, top leg is straight, elbow underneath your armpit. So you've got good support through your shoulder. And we're gonna lift up, lift up through the hip and have the right arm up in the air. Good work. Just holding this one, deep breathing, working through the obliques on the other side. That's it, keep it strong. We've got 15 seconds to go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. And bring it down. Okay, so you can stay on your side. We're going to do lateral leg raises. If you have a weight there, you can pop that on your leg if you want to make it a little bit more, more intense. You don't have to. So you've got a really nice straight body. You're up on your elbow. Elbows underneath your armpit hip forward and your top foot flexed and lifting up. You know you're doing it correctly if you can't lift your foot any more than about 50, 60 centimeters. If it's going higher than that, you need to um, shift your hip forward and squeeze your butt. So this one's good because it's working your glutes. It's helping you to strengthen through your lower core area. It's also working your thighs and your ITB, the muscle that goes down the side from your hip to your knee and the front of the thighs, the quadricep. Good. Okay, switch sides. Got 10 more seconds rest. So just getting your body nice and aligned, so nice and straight, you with your hip forward and your foot flex. Pop your weight on the leg if you have one to use and flexing your foot and off we go. Again, just checking how high your foot's going up. It's going up very high, you need to move your hip forward and then squeeze your butt. Good job, 20 seconds to go, keep it strong. The second side always is a little harder. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. So next one is a, we can either do a CrossFit sit up or you can do a bicycle crunch. 
either one, they're working upper and lower abs. So I'll just show you the CrossFit sit up so that you know what it is. Just pause this for a sec. Pausing session. Okay, so you have your, put it this way so you can see. So you have the soles of your feet together and you inhale as you go down, bring your hands above your head and exhale as you come up. If that feels a little difficult for you, you can do an alternative, which is this one. This is the bicycle crunch. So either one works the upper and lower abs. So you can decide which one you feel that you want to do today. I'll just put the clock on. Starting session. Okay, let's go. So breathing in as you go down and breathing out as you go up. If you decided to do the bicycle crunches, breathe out each time you bring your elbow to your knee. Fifteen seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. Okay, next one, we're going to go into a bridge position. So we're going to lay on our back with our knees bent and our feet on the floor. And if you have a weight that you can put in each hand, grab them as well beside you. And we're going to go up into a bridge, so lifting up through the hips, squeezing the buttocks, chin to chest, and then we're going to press up with the weights that you have. So lifting up nice and high through the hips, squeezing your buttocks. So this one's working shoulders and arms, lower core, quads and glutes. You get your money's worth with this one. It. Just keep it going. Deep breathing. Nice work. And bring your arms down. Put your weights on the ground. Okay, well done. So that's one set done. You want to grab a quick drink and then we'll get on to the next set. Pausing session. Just pause it for a sec. Give you about 30 more seconds to get your drink. And then we're going to come up to our feet. We're going to start with skaters. Hopefully you're starting to get a bit warm now. Okay. Just wait for people to come back. Radio. Let's get this. Session. Let's get this show on the road. Okay, so with the skaters, a step to the side and then step behind, side and behind, and then once you get your rhythm going, you can add some arms in. So into cactus arms and squeeze in behind through your scapula. it. I think we might have to do this one again. We have a few late starters. So we've got 10 seconds to go, then we'll, we'll do another one. Okay, just give your arms a little shake and we'll do that one again. Just give your arms a little bit of movement. Okay, let's go. So we do the same one again. So step behind, step and behind. That's it, and bring your arms in. If you 
having trouble coordinating your arms, you can just have your arms at your chest, Dexter, if that works better for you. That's it. I can see you all very clearly today, which is good. When you're standing, that's it. Ten seconds to go. Three, two, and one. Good. Okay, grab your weight now. The next one's a squat with a press. Okay, so we'll bring the weight up to our chest and our feet nice and wide apart. Squatting down and pressing up, making sure that you keep your chest up. See, good job. When you press up, reach right up, feel that stretch through your abdomen. Good job. Okay, grab your other weight for bicep curls. Okay, I've got five seconds to go. So nice soft knees, core on. Breathe out as you bring your arms up and control them down. That's it. We've got 20 seconds to go. Good job, five seconds. Work. Okay, you can drop one of your weights down and do the single arm press. It's got 15 more seconds rest. Okay, so taking your elbow out to the side, core nice and strong, nice soft knees, pressing up to the ceiling and then just bring your elbow only down to the shoulder height. That's it. Try and keep your body nice and aligned so you've got your chest and hips both facing forward. Good work. Everyone's going really well. Breathe out as you press up. Breathe in as you bring it down. Just take your time, pay attention to your form. You can take your elbow back slightly and feel that little bit of a squeeze in your shoulders, the scapula. Five seconds to go. Well done. Ah, oh, that gets a bit tight. Give your arm a bit of a shake. And we've got 15 seconds rest until we do the other side. So just give that a little bit of movement. And getting ready for the other side. Okay, let's go. So core's on strong, soft knees, shoulders and hips facing forward. That's it, good work everyone. Just making sure that elbow doesn't go below the shoulder height. So this is using a lot of stabilizers in your body to keep this weight aligned. 15 seconds to go. Keep it strong, finish it off. Deep breathing, 10 seconds. Good work, okay, nice work. We're going down to the mat now. We've got plank next.
So you can do either knees or toes, whichever works for you. Okay, let's go. Oh, you change your angle journey and Dex, I can see you now, it's good. Yeah, come on Dexter. <laughs> so you can go onto your knees if you want, if it's um, irritating your lower back at all. So keeping it nice and strong. Good work. 15 seconds to go. Deep breathing, five seconds, and then take your body into a child's pose. Knees wide, feet together, and walk your hands out the front. Let's give that a lovely stretch. Okay, next one, we're going on to our side for a side plank. So, body nice and straight, have the lower leg bent, and we're going to lift up through the hips. Sit good. So working the obliques. No money. Five seconds to go. Good work. And go to the other side. You've got 20 seconds rest. So nice straight body. The bottom knee is bent. Top, top leg is straight. And you're lifting up through your hips. Taking the arm up into the air. Bring it back a little to open up through your chest. Elbow is underneath your armpit. Deep breathing, got 30 seconds to go. Keep it nice and strong. These are quite hard. It's a pretty tough session today, guys. Going really well. 10 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one, release. Okay, this next one is either CrossFit sit-ups or bicycle crunches. I think I'll do the bike crunches this time. You do whichever you choose. So we're going down onto our backs. So with the bicycle crunches, you can either have them both feet up in the air or you can go to a slightly less intense version where you have one foot down each time. You can alternate between the two if you want. Fingertips behind your head so you're not pulling on your neck. Got 20 seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. And hug your knees up to your chest. Just give your lower back a little bit of a release. Okay, next one, staying on your back, we're gonna do a bridge with a press. So bringing one weight to each side. Bring your toes, your feet in nice and close so your heels are close to your bottom. Inhale, lift up through your hips. Squeeze your buttock, chin to chest, and then pressing up. Keeping your hips as high as you can and really squeeze through the buttocks. And deep breathing, breathing in as you bring your arms down and breathing out as you press them up.
Good work. Okay, slowly lower your spine down to the mat. Drop your weights off. Okay, that's two sessions done. Two sets. So have a little rest here. Grab yourself a drink. Is everyone going okay? Just give me a thumbs up. All good? Excellent. So I think we'll do one more set and then we'll do some stretches and a little bit of roller work. <clears throat> so coming back up onto our feet. Okay, I'll get the clock going again. Okay, so we'll do knees up this time. Okay, let's go. That's it, nice work. So this is our last set. Give it all you've got. Hopefully getting warm now. I had to take my jacket off. I was up at the gym today doing a session with somebody and uh, the owner was up there and he was saying that they own 15 gyms. They've got 12 up in around Sydney and they've got three in Tasmania. So they're keeping their business afloat at the moment, but it's been pretty tricky for them. Okay, next one we're going to do the squat press. Stopping, starting session. So grab your weight, bring it up to your chest. Okay, squatting down and pressing up. So hopefully we won't go into lockdown again. Notice the pubs have got to have less people now and a bit more diligent around recording who's coming in. But, uh, See how things go. Changes by the day and by the hour. At least we've got our, we're all used to doing Zoom now, so we can keep our exercise going. This exercise is good for the body, but it's also good for the mind. Gives us a bit of structure. Next one's bicep curls. Okay, got nine seconds to go. Three, two, and one, let's go. That's it. So breathing in as you bring them down, breathing out as you bring them up. Hands to up towards your shoulders and down towards your legs. Core are nice and strong and chest up. Good work, everyone. Fifteen seconds to go. Four, three, two, and one. Okay, so we're going to drop. I think we won't do single arm press this time. I'll, I'll add a different one in at the end. So we'll do plank next. So coming down to the floor. And you can either be on your knees or your toes, whichever works for you. So nice straight line from your shoulders to your knees or your shoulders to your heels. This is working your deep abdominal muscles. It's important to keep these strong to help you support your back. <sighs> Having a strong core is really important in everything, like maintaining your balance so you don't fall and things like that as well. Deep breathing. Five, four, three, two, and one. And then take your knees wide and feet together. Bring your buttocks back to heels and stretch out through your lower back. Then we're going to go to side plank. So 
So with the side plank, having your elbow under your armpit, nice and straight through your body. Lift up through your hips and lift your upper arm up towards the ceiling and take your hand back a little bit to open up through your chest. And deep breathing here. Fifteen seconds to go. Finish it off. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good work. And then switch to the other side. Again, just lining your body up to your elbows under your armpit. Your body's nice and straight. Bottom leg is bent, top leg is straight, and we're going to lift up through the hips, take that arm up to the, towards the ceiling, hand back a little bit to open up through your chest, and settle in here. So deep breathing, we're strengthening up the side muscles in our abs, our obliques. Might be a little hard on your elbow. Mine's getting a little hard on my elbow. Got 15 seconds to go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Bringing it down. Okay. Next one, we're doing lateral leg raises. So I think I'll switch to the other side to give my elbow a rest. So getting yourself into position so you've got a nice straight body. Hip forward and foot flex. Popping a weight on the top leg if you choose. And lifting up. Keeping your buttock nice and strong. Twenty seconds to go. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Okay, switching to the other side. So nice straight body, hip forward, foot flexed. Okay, let's go. So lifting up, keeping that hip forward. You know you're in the right position if your foot only goes up about 60 centimeters. Squeeze your buttock. Keep it strong. Fifteen seconds to go. It's getting a bit tough. Just try to finish it off. You can do it. Five seconds. Nice. And then going on to your back, hug your knees to your chest. Just loosen off through your lower back. And then the next one, you can either do CrossFit sit-ups or you can do bicycle crunches. So you choose which one you want to do. It's raining heavy out there now. Ten seconds to go. Good 
exactly what. Okay, next one we're going to do a bridge press. So laying on your back, feet nice and close to your buttocks. Put a weight on each side of you so that you can press up with them. Getting ready to go. Breathing in, lifting up through the hips. Squeeze the buttocks and press up with the hands. Bring your chin to chest. Deep breathing, breathing in when you bring your arms down, breathing out as you press up. Good work, and slowly lower your spine down to the mat, drop your weights off, and we're going to do a twist next. This is one we haven't done in the past two sets, this is instead of a single arm press. So you can either be on your, on your knees or your toes. And we're going to, uh, actually, we're going to bring your hand to the center of the mat. And we're going to lift up. And then bring your hand to the center. And lift up on the other side. So this is opening up through your chest. Keep your eyes on your hand. So it's sort of like a planking position. It's just working your abs, your chest, your arms. Shoulders, 20 seconds to go. This is our last one, so try and finish this one off. Keep it nice and steady, just focus on your form. Bring the hand back towards the middle of the mat so it supports you. Inhale as you lift up, exhale as you bring your hand down. Three, two, and one. Excellent work. Now, I'm going to come and Say a quick word about what part of your body you feel you need a stretch. So perhaps if you just take yourself off mute and let me know um, whereabouts you feel you need it. Okay. Probably in the shoulders. Shoulders, Penny, okay. What about you, Jen? Uh, lower back for me, I think. Lower back, okay. And Dexter, he's... Shoulders, shoulders, he says. Shoulders, okay, shoulders, lower back. And what about you, Elsa? I think you're on mute, so you can just point to it. <laughs> you're just telling me you're totally groovy, are you? <laughs> All right, then. Let's go. I'll put you back on mute, and we'll do... Has everyone got a roller available? No. You ha have one? Okay. No. Well, we'll, maybe we'll leave that out. Oh, Penny's got one. We don't have, have got, one. You know, have you got a tennis ball? No. No? No ball? Okay. All right. Well, I'll show these ladies oh, something to do with the roller and I'll show you something to do without it. Okay. So we'll go on to mute. I think you need to just mute yourself. Oh, no, that's all good. That's all good. Okay. So I'll just show Penny and Elsa what to do with the roller, first of all. So I want you to, I'll go side on so you can see a little better. So this is for lower back primarily. So you're sitting on the roller square and then you take one hand back and you lean on that side that you've got the hand back on and you're rolling backwards and forwards. You feel a little squash ball there, and that's your glute. So what we're trying to do is release that glute so it releases the tension on the lower back. And for Jenny and Dexter, I want you to lay on your back and hug your knee up. Cross your legs over and hug your knee in. And that this one also works to release that glute area. So hug that all the way in. So if you want to try it in future Jenny and Dexter if you have a tennis ball or a little cricket ball or something you can put that on the ground and roll over it as well that um, makes a good substitute for a roller so then when you're ready everyone 
you can move to the other side. So if you're on the roller, just taking the other hand behind you and rolling it slightly to that side and feeling as you go back and forward for the little squash ball muscle, releasing that. And for Jenny and Dexter, switching to the other side, folding the other leg across. Good. And then the next one I'm going to do, we can use the roller and I can show Jenny and Dexter what you can do as well. So we'll use the roller for our quads. So you, I don't know if you can see that, I'll just put it sideways. Putting the roller underneath your, your thighs and you're rolling backwards and forwards. Yeah, so you support yourself with your hands and for Jenny and Dexter, to stretch out your quads, you can go into this sort of seated position and bring your body back till you feel that nice stretch through that quad area. So this is similar to what we do when we're in that standing position and we bring the, the foot to our buttocks. So feeling that nice stretch through there. Okay. Just give that another 30 seconds or so. And then we'll switch over to doing some shoulders. So coming to a seated position. If you want, you can sit on your roller or you can sit on your haunches. And we're going to do some little shoulder circles. Sit and then uh, go the other way. So going back the other way. And then take it to big arms. That's it. And then the other way. Good. And then from here, we're gonna bring our fingertips to our shoulders. And I want you to do circles with your elbows and try to bring the elbows together at the front. So really big circles, deep breathing as you do it. So it's like you're drawing a really big circle with your elbows. And then I want you to go back the other way and still try and bring them together at the front. Really good movement for opening up through the whole shoulder area. Good, and from here, we're gonna release our neck as well. So just going from side to side. And then bringing one hand up and gently stretching to one side through the neck. And then to the other side, just be very gentle. And then one more on each side. And another shoulder one that is quite good, coming down onto all fours. And I'll just show you what I'm, we're gonna do. So we look at our, we'll start with the left hand, look at, at the hand, lift the hand all the way up to the ceiling and exhale as you bring it down underneath the right and we're gonna hover it there. So we can do that together. So coming onto all fours. So start on your left hand. So looking at the hand, follow it, it up with your gaze as you bring it up nice and high and then keep your eye on your hand and bring it down thread it underneath the right hand then inhale bring it back up exhale bring it all the way under hover and really stretch it through and then on the last one we're going to bring it all the way up and bring it under and bring the arm down towards the mat take the right hand forward and bring your ear and your shoulder down towards the mat and we're going to stay here for a few breaths, just feeling the stretch through the left scapula. Each time you exhale, just releasing your body a little bit more to the floor. One more deep breath. And then bring that arm back up and slide the right hand back. And we'll go to the right side this time. So keeping your hands underneath your shoulders, you're going to inhale. Lift the right hand to the ceiling, keeping the gaze on the right hand. Exhale, thread it down underneath the left. 
Inhale, bring it all the way up. It's a really nice big movement for your shoulder. And on our third one, we're going to lift it all the way up and then bring it down. Bring the arm and the shoulder towards the mat, ear towards the mat. Take the left hand forward. So you get into a nice stretch position here. Taking about three deep breaths and each time you exhale, releasing your body a little more into the stretch and into the floor. And then inhale, come back up, come back to all fours. We'll do a few cat cows. So these are good to release through the spine. We all get a little bit stiff through the spine, especially in the cold weather. So we're gonna inhale, lift our gaze and lift our chest, looking up, and then we're gonna exhale, bring our back, our, our spine up towards the ceiling, looking through the knees towards the feet, and inhale back up. So continue with that movement. It's just a nice movement for your spine moving it a little bit in a lot of different places. So you're getting some movement all the way through your spine, right up towards your neck and your head. And then we're gonna take our knees wide, bring our buttocks back to our heels and walk our hands forward. Bring your forehead down towards the mat if you can and relax into the child's pose. So this is stretching through the lower back. You feel it a little bit in your upper back and also a bit through your arms and shoulders. Staying here for five breaths. And then coming back onto all fours, and then into a seated position. And we're gonna do a forward stretch. So having your buttocks on the ground and a nice um, erect spine. And I want you to inhale, lift your arms up and exhale, take your hands forward and you can take them to your shins or your ankles or your toes, whatever is comfortable for you. I want you to gaze at your toes and take five breaths. And each time you exhale, relax into the stretch a little more. So this one's stretching through the hamstrings on the back of the legs, a bit of lower back, a little bit of shoulders, a little bit of calves. If, you've, if you can reach your toes and you pull your toes back, you'll get a little bit of calves. Let's go three more breaths here. And then bringing your feet together. similar position to our CrossFit sit-ups and coming up onto your sit bones, nice tall spine, having your hands at your ankles and use your elbows to gently press open through your knees to get a little bit of a stretch through your groin. Nice. I think we're done. Excellent work. Good on you for zooming in on a rainy wet day. It was great. Great to see.